Hey everybody, it's Missy with the Hip Kit Club, and if you ordered the 2016 August Color Kits, then you are going to receive this gorgeous pack of Prima Oil Pastels, and we haven't gotten anything like this before, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you some things that you can do with these, and to show you how they work. They do remind me a lot of gelatos, but the consistency is a little bit different, and these are water-soluble, and on the inside of the cover there, you get the names of all the colors and there are a lot of colors here and I'm just going to show you some quick easy things that you can do here first of all I'm going to pick out some colors here and you're going to love how these blend together I'm going to show you how they work directly on cardstock and then we're going to add some gesso later so I'm just going to take a couple colors and do some scribbles here straight on the cardstock um, now, you don't have to add water to these. You could use them just as is, but if you like to blend things, I'm going to use my water brush here and just squirt a little bit of water down, and I'm just quickly going over these colors here. I've got a, a pink, a red, an orange, and a yellowish orange color, and look how quick and easy that blended together, and I'm not using a lot of water here at all, and this is straight on the cardstock. I didn't do anything to it. And they still blended very nicely. Very, very pretty, vibrant colors here. So now I'm going to come in and use a little bit of gesso. I know a lot of us who do mixed media use gesso a lot, and this is just white gesso. I'm going to smudge some down with my finger and let that dry. And then I'm just going to do the same thing that I just did over on the left, except this time I'm going to use some blues. And if you've used gesso before, then you know it's going to give a little bit of texture to your paper, and it's going to and it's going to prime it a little bit, and so you're able to blend a lot easier, and you're able to use more water. And I found that using the gesso, it did blend a little bit better. And as you can see here, I'm not using a lot of each color. A little bit of these pastels goes a long way. You're going to get a lot of color out of just a little bit of it. And so I've got um, like a light blue turquoise, a royal blue, a little bit darker of a royal blue, a little bit of navy, and then a little bit of an aqua color here. And these blend together so nicely. I just kept going. I just kept adding more water and blending and blending. And you can see how this is going to go here. It's, it's so pretty. I love these. I cannot wait to use these on a project. And this was my first time using these, and I filmed this so I could show you guys just how they look and the consistency of them and how they blend with water. You know, you could use a regular paintbrush and water. You don't have to have a water brush. They just kept blending. I love this. It's so, so pretty. So you can see there, you could use them without or with gesso. Very, very pretty. And you could blend as much as you want. I kind of just keep going here just to see what they would do. One thing I did learn was that if you're like me and you like to dab things up with a napkin, make sure it's a little bit drier because I just dabbed up most of my color. Although I think that looks really cool <laughs> the way that is there when I dabbed up a lot of the color. Very, very nice faded look. Now I know a lot of us are fans of the packaging technique, me included. Very, very easy to do. Scribble some of the pastel right onto your plastic, add a little bit of water, and this works perfectly if this is your go-to technique. You know it's mine. I love it. And it worked great. And again, I didn't use any gesso on that part of the paper. You don't need a lot of water. I just do a couple of scribbles, and you're going to get quite a bit of color. So these are definitely going to last you a long time. I'm just going to layer a little bit of a different blue there. The possibilities and the color schemes are endless here. I'm um, going to add a little bit of a purple. I think I could just do this all day. Very, very rich, beautiful colors here. And there are a ton more other colors. You've got lots of browns and there's some gray in there. Some peachy, orangey colors get a little bit of everything. One last thing, I'm just going to draw one single circle here and then just kind of go around it with my water brush and just show you how you can make some shading and some different um, tones of the same color just by how much water you add. Anybody can do this. This is super simple. 
and you can add as much as you want but you can see I just drew one circle there it was very very light and how much color I'm gonna get out of this and I love how it gets lighter and lighter towards the center and you can leave the dark outline of the circle but I just kind of start to go around and around it here and it's gonna blend out that dark circle that I just drew so I recommend just opening these up and playing with them and seeing what you can come up with because they're really fun. So I hope this gives you some ideas. I'll see you guys next time.